I swear to God, the only reason why I come out into the bush is to drink coffee and have a beautiful view at the same time. Oh man. really relaxed this morning, slept in, it felt awesome. Anyway, once I hit the water, there's this long skinny bay that juts out to the north from, from the main body of water on Parento Lake. And I'm gonna cruise that today. I'm hoping to go down that bay and uh, stumble upon some walleye. If not, I'm gonna try the east side of the lake and see what that has to offer. I could open up his mouth a little better, but I, I'm pretty sure he's got a pike in his mouth. Like, just so you can see the tail tail end of the pike sticking out. Anyway, awesome. Okay, I'm gonna try something a little different getting bites with this at kind of like the beginning of this bay but once I kind of got into this this narrow stretch I haven't really got anything I maybe one hit um, so I'm gonna try what I was using yesterday around those islands caught a few lake trout on it and a few pike gonna give that a shot there we go let's see if this works well about a minute in Oh, it's a beautiful, oh, it's a lake trout, nice. I was gonna say it's a beautiful northern pike, but. Oh, there we go, perfect release, awesome. Not sure 
sure what this is. Oh, it's a bike. Not a bad pike. Hey, can't complain. Well, I'm definitely not lighting it up right now. So I'm gonna keep on keeping on here. I'm gonna go right to the end of this uh, channel. See what I can find. I gotta explore, right? Finally latched into something. <laughs> it's been a it's been a drink, big dry spell. Lost the lure. Hasn't been very good. Yeah. Oh no, lake trout. Cool. Oh. Got off. Nuts. I think I might have just caught a stick. It's not fighting. Oh no, I got a fish on. It's too bad it's a pike. Oh, now you get frisky. There we go. I didn't even have to touch him. Doesn't feel too big. There we go. He's not a bad size. Ooh, nuts. No, he's not that big. <laughs> oh, thank God he never got in the boat. This side is certainly fishier than the other side. Another pike. Anyway, I'm at the, the kind of the pinch point of this this whole bay. The wind's kind of coming straight out of the south. When I first got back into here, it was like super calm. This whole last little leg of this long bay or this channel was super calm. And now it's kind of the wind's picked up and yeah, it's going to be kind of a little bit of a slug fest trying to get back. <laughs> the east side of this bay seems a lot fishier than the west side. And I fished the west side going in. Now I'm fishing the east side going out. So when you catch a fish, you stop, you reel it in, you drift back, you know, 100 meters, and then you gotta start all over again. Uh, depending how many fish I catch, it might take a really long time getting out of this bay. Another pike! Crazy bastard. Ooh, he swallowed it. Time to get the jaws of, the jaws of life. Man, this uh, the East Shoreline sure has a lot of pike. Just saying. This might be a lake trout. It's taking a little drag, but it doesn't. It's more because he's going squirrely than anything else. This might be supper if it's the right size. Yeah, lake trout. said no one ever. Smile for the crowd. All right. Fish? Yeah. <laughs> really wasn't fighting that much. Must be pretty tiny. Another slew shark zoomed away. Doesn't feel big. Look at that belly, how it's just sticking out like that. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> this guy has a feed bag on. See you later. Let's 
hit the bottom and then it enticed this guy. In this lake, there hasn't been many uh, hammer handle pike. You know, they've been all decent sized pike. Look at that, eh? All beat up. Rough sex. Staying down. Oh, it's Laker. Oh, it might be eater size. He's feeding on minnows. He just up chucked a bunch of minnows. You know what? I'm going to keep this guy. GoPro, stop recording. Go for it. Oh, never mind. You done? You done? No, oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, he's actually he's actually a little smaller than the one I kept. Whoops. See you later. Fish off. I thought I had the best campsite on the lake. But there's one over here that uh, it's on an island. I'm gonna go check it out and fillet my fish over there. So I'm gonna reel up, zoom over, and uh, we'll see what it's all about. Looks like the wind's picking up again out the outside. I uh, hope the paddle home is okay. Kind of calmed down there for a little bit. That's why I decided to come out here. Not really regretting the decision, but it is cooling off fairly quick. And uh, I'm lazy. I don't want to paddle against the wind. See you back at camp. Okay, just looking at the weather right now. So it looks like about 3 a.m. the wind's gonna be coming right out of the south and it's gonna be about 11 kilometers. 9 a.m. it's gonna slow down to nine kilometers an hour. And then 3 p.m. it's about nine kilometers an hour coming from the north. In case I didn't catch walleye here on Parento, um, I kinda had a backup plan, but the thing is it involved a little bit of traveling on, you know, basically it's my second last day. I'm gonna go to the spot. I know there's a good campsite nearby. And I'm going to set up camp and uh, hopefully slay some walleyes if if they're there. I have no clue. I've never fished a spot this time of year. So we'll see when I go in there. We'll see if uh, if I can latch onto a few. I'm hoping. I'd like to take some home. Oh yeah, 
course, it's gonna taste good, right? I'm just gonna finish eating, finish frying up this fish, and uh, probably hit the sack here really quick. I wanna get up bright and early so I can make it down to the south end of Moran Lake and hopefully catch them walleye. Whoop. Anyway, have yourself a good night. Cheers. So yeah, I set my alarm I think for 5, 5.30. I think I got up around 6, 6.15, somewhere in there. Slept not bad. I feel decent. So I'm just gonna hammer back some coffee, some oatmeal, and uh, pack up and I'll be on my way. I decided to not fish, forgo the fishing, and just get these portages done with. I haven't decided to see how I feel. Uh, I'll check out that other portage that I could have done coming in. Yeah, I just kind of want to get this done with and get on Moran Lake and take advantage of this freaking awesome weather. Look at this.
Well, I was thinking about doing that portage, but I just don't have it in me. I should have checked it out when I first came in. I'd probably save time the other way, but like I said, I just don't want to put up with the fuss of looking for a portage. Yeah, there should be at least another foot of water in here. Alright guys, um, I'm here at, I think it's Cornell or Cornelli Rapids. So I paddled across the lower half of Moran Lake to get here from Parento Lake. It was a beautiful paddle. There wasn't a stitch of wind. I'm actually, I'm overheating. It's muggy as hell, but I'm just going to kind of drift until I get to the rapids. And once I get to the rapids, I'm going to see if I can kind of portage the rapids. I know there's a portage to portage both but I'm gonna see if I can kind of do one at a time. Cause I'd like to fish in between. There's two falls or rapids. I wanna see if I can fish in between the two. And then there's actually a third as well. I'll fish in there for sure in between the second and the third. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Hopefully I can latch into some walleyes and yeah, have a blast. I have no clue what I'm doing here. Just gonna go take a look at the first set of rapids here. Wasn't really having much success jigging. I haven't jigged a lot in this section, but I'm really curious in what lies below this first set. And the portage is just, just over here. Then I'll bypass the first two sets of rapids or falls, whatever you want to call them. Should have portaged the other way. Mother Well, I didn't really think this through all that well. I'm gonna come over here. All this vegetation is at least giving me a fighting chance to get into the water. That over here, that is just, I think it's mission impossible without sinking knee deep. Bingo. Yeah, let's try and find some walleyes. I've caught walleyes in here midsummer. That's the only time I've ever been in here. <laughs> I've never used that portage before, so was, I didn't realize the the bottom of it was so mucky.
That's pretty good. Later. Yeah, it's a pike. Let's go for another run. Not huge. Good size. Maybe six pounds. Seven if I'm lucky. That's okay. Yeah, you wanted to go pretty quick there. <laughs> Caught another one. Didn't video it. Oh, this has got to be another pike. Oh, these pikes are like. There we go. That might be tipping 10. Trifecta. I didn't get it all on Parentola Lake, but hey man, I'm not complaining. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, I love this. This is like one of my most favorite things in the world is jigging for walleye. Oh, that's probably a pike. <laughs> Not a bad pike. Not as big as that first one in here. Gee whiz. Oh f yeah, second walleye. About the same size. Some guys came down and checked out the portage. I'm not sure if they're portaging. Uh, Cause you got a full size boat and that, <laughs> that landing is something else, so. Sweet, two walleye in the boat. It is cooling off. The pike were ferocious. So something might be coming in, which really sucks. I, I wanted to try and figure out these walleyes. One more cast, see what happens here. GoPro stop recording. Okay, wow, just like magic, smoke just moved in. It's gonna be a smoky night. Rapids look pretty tame. Wind's picking up. The last time I came through here, my portage, because it, it was just too much water. With the water being so low, it's, it seems pretty freaking tame. What's going on, Pelly? Man, you look impressive. I hate being in the wind. I'm gonna put up a tarp just to block some wind. Oh God. Here, I'm gonna bring you in out of the wind. That, uh, that took for freaking ever. Just the option of trees, my inexperience, and yeah, this is, yeah, it's not good. Yeah, we got the one corner kind of wrapped around. Yeah, it's not ideal for me. My biggest thing is I just want to get out of the wind and I didn't want everything to flap. It's a good hunk of meat. Yeah, I'm just trying to build something so the stove has less wind to deal with. Whatever. As long as I get some water boiled for supper, that's all that really matters.
You know what? I think my head's gonna be on a downslope. Yeah, my head's on a downslope a little bit. I'll be okay. Yeah, just eating supper. Got some Labrador tea going. I'm gonna crank back this uh, mountain hose beef stroganoff with noodles and uh, probably some uh, trail mix and stuff like that and hit the sack. Mm. I do have to check the weather report. The wind right now is about 24 kilometers an hour and it's kind of going bonkers. I'd be a little sketch going out in it. The way it's coming right now from the northeast, I could. But, checking tomorrow, it's supposed to get, the wind is supposed to start coming from the east. About five o'clock, it's about 17 kilometers, 18 kilometers, oh no. It basically says about 17 or 18 from the east or southeast. No use in getting up super early, but, god damn, that's gonna suck. <laughs> She's a cool one. Since the weather's not supposed to get any worse for the morning, I want to take the time to make a little coffee. The wind picked up, which really kind of sucks. Lisa's blowing my way. I'm gonna savor this coffee like I'm gonna savor this last morning out here. It is a cold one though, I had to put on the jacket. I got some muck boots here. I was thinking maybe just sandals and uh, waterproof socks, but it's cold. <laughs> it might be muck boot weather.
Well, that was just a last portage. Um, I'm only a couple kilometers away from Silence of the North Lodge. So I just got a short little paddle and I'm not going to bother filming it. So at this point, I'd just like to say, if you like the content, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if you like and uh, hope to see you on the next adventure.